What is up guys? So today we are gonna start a new project. We've done Fords, GMs, now it's time to do a Dodge. So we have a 2020 Laramie here. And it's black, so it's, you know, most people wouldn't mess with it, but T, he's gonna go hard. So we're gonna color match this whole thing, do the bumper pads, lower bumper trim, debadge this. We're gonna paint the tails. Uh, we did it on Roger's truck, so kind of do that. Get rid of the decals there, paint the lower trims. Probably this one too. He thought about deleting it, but I think leave it. Get rid of the ram. Obviously paint the mirrors, paint the fog bezels, lower valance, inner grill. So yeah, basically a full color match on this thing. It's not gonna look a crazy bit different because it is black, but um, we'll show you how this one's done. That way you've seen, like I said, Denali's, Ford's, all the new ones. This is a 2020. Um, haven't done a new Chevy, but they're basically the same as the Denali's. So we're gonna get tearing this thing down. All right, so I got this mirror torn apart just about as far as I think I'm gonna go, which actually kind of sucks because the Ford and Chevy mirrors, I can get them torn down a lot farther. Um, but these Dodge mirrors, this outer cap doesn't seem to want to come up. These mirrors have this little pin here that holds, it's like a hinge and it holds the mirror together on both sides. I'm thinking from the factory, somehow they put that in and then crimp it, almost like a rivet or something. So I don't think this is gonna come off unless one of you guys knows, same as this, how these come apart, please drop it in the comment and let me know. I may just be too stupid to figure it out, but I'm pretty sure this just doesn't come off without getting crazy. But we pulled the lower uh, mirror, the lower cover off this houses the mirror. You can just unscrew the mirror, it unplugs and get that out of the way, so that's good. This is a little seal here that sits right here you don't want to paint over that so if you pop this front cover off you can get this seal out with the front cover off you actually also have access to uh, i believe this is a little led light and it shoots through this hole right here so there's just two screws this comes out the back lots of the cameras out oh this when you do pop it out there's clip there's also two screws in here i'll show you guys that on the next one and here's the front cover just pops off little tabs very simple so that's about as far as I can go. We just got to mask this up. And then when we paint it, you got to flip it up and down to make sure you get full coverage under everything. So I'm going to start on the next mirror. All right, so first step, we are going to pull off this foam insulator. Now that's done. There are two T10 torques that hold this lower cover on. It's actually easier if you just pull it, once you take it out, actually don't pry on this side, you just pull it up and out. You've got the camera here, once again, 10. So this is completely out, ready to roll. Here's the camera, this will unplug. That was strong. Now the camera can stay out and be safe. Wrap this end with some tape, that way nothing, no overspray or anything gets on it. Next up, we wanna get this front cover off. It will give us access to this sensor inside here. Something thin to get it started here. Now we'll pull this sensor out. It's got two screws down in here, 10 again. That's 
that, it's out. All right, so the bumper's off. Something to uh, realize if you guys ever do one of these bumpers, the tow hooks have to come off first because they actually look like a hitch receiver and they go through here and they'll hold up the uh, front bracket. So this is what the backside of one of these bumpers looks like. Bunch of screws to hold the lower balance on. Please no sounds while I'm recording. Um, pull these out through the back. Basically gotta tear this whole thing apart. That's what Shane's gonna do. Oh yeah. Hey look, they made it way easier. They're way different than a 18. Because the bolts go the right way? They go the correct way, actually this time. They go like if this If you guys now. have ever taken a bumper off an older one, they put the bolts in from this side and, you and they hit the intercooler or you gotta cut them and get new bolts. So put the bolts in from the outside, you don't gotta worry about that. So Dodge actually did something smart. Can you believe that? All right, working on these taillights now. I got this one all masked up. So anything that you see red will be painted black to match the truck. And we'll have the red outline here, as well as the white for the reverse lights and car lights. And here's one untouched, so I'm gonna hop on this one, get it wrapped up. All right, well, fast forward, didn't show you guys any of the priming or prepping process because uh, it's pretty, pretty boring. And if you watch my Duramax Clemens video or my Power Stroke Clemens video, I go through all the steps. But basically, Scotch fight them, prime them, my sand them with like 400, clean them off, and they're ready to roll. So, no texture on any of these parts anymore. Lower, uh, front lower balance, front grille, mirrors as far apart as they go. Also doing a little repair on the rear bumper. Tail lights wiped down, masked up, ready to roll. So my next step, I'm gonna go mix up some sealer and start spraying. All right, here everything is. I got it all cleared. Looking pretty good. The tails, ooh, I probably should have unmasked them. And the clear was softer. Maybe I'll do that now. Lower valance, lower grill, mirrors, rear bumper, which we repaired. So tomorrow we'll get this truck put together and you guys can see the whole picture. All right, so we got the 2020 Ram behind me. All color match put back together. And it's a little windy out here, so I'm gonna show you. I'm probably not gonna put any uh, commentary to it though. Just uh, let the music roll. All right, I hopped inside the whip here because it's just so windy outside, but um, color matching a black truck, it's a lot of work. And um, you know, it's hard because it's, everything was black before, but honestly, it still does look better. It's always an improvement. It's like the ultimate flex to color match your black truck because you're just out here really doing it. You know, if this truck was white, it would be crazy looking all white, everything or red or something. But either way, 
it's all good. I hope you guys liked the video. If you want to see us color match some Chevys or a GMC, go back a few videos with one of those, a 17 up F250, another video of that. So, uh, you know, we do a lot of these here. If you're local, you want to have yours done, hit me up. If you're not local and you want to have any questions about tearing your stuff apart or anything like that, be sure to, you know, ask, send me a message on Instagram or here. I try to reply to everything I can. Um, so drop a comment down below if you think this thing looks cool. Subscribe if you're not already. I think all you guys that are subscribed, um, give the video a like. It really helps out. And we'll see you guys on the next one.